As I was, I am, I suppose, one of many uh, children of the Elven Queen. And Alia then follows up with, yet the only male one. He looks to Alia with a slightly sort of, uh, oh, you just had to. Look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so seems like she's getting like a, a vengeful look in her eyes, like flashing. <laughs> As he then, then sort of quickly neutralizes his face. He's rather good at. That uh, is. That a is rather important. You are the is, single prince. That is disputed by many scholars. There has uh, never been a prince before. Never. Olia nods. The Queen's line has always continued with the most capable princess succeeding as the, as the new queen. This actually is loud enough now. Everyone hears the rustle as like the tent flap is raised. <laughs> and like <laughs> is stares out at the campsite. I suppose it makes sense why you kept this so secret. Yes, I have kept no secret. I simply has not brought, have not brought it up. It seemed irrelevant to our cause, or what we were doing. Far from it, I feel. It's Understandable, so I suppose, and yet <laughs> I am confused when I asked you when we were deciding what to do, whether or not you had any proof of any support of your argument that the court would act, saying that you are a rather important person and that the exact environment would have lent at least some weight to your argument. And you do not believe that we are in the right place now? I did not say that. Well, I do. Stanson says, uh... I suppose we shouldn't let my aunt wait for too long. I'm sure she has much to discuss with us. Mm -hmm. Superior Terapist stands and says, Yes, I'm sure, and the butterflies of Ely Chemeth, not you. Sit down, Superior. He <laughs> sort of looks, <laughs> looks at Superior and says, I believe this is a uh, meeting uh, of uh, my own diplomatic potential <laughs> the butterflies all rub their wings together his companions may come along but not you superior I'm here to speak with her and I want to go home okay I don't want to be here anymore could you just let me Aranos gives him his uh, oh he's so young I... <laughs> look <laughs> The, <laughs> he doesn't even know that he's going to stay here forever. The butterflies are co seem completely <laughs> apathetic. <laughs> I the butterflies don't even know what As well as if they step out of the circle. Spaces, uh, those of you who wish to come with me are welcome. Well, in the way, my friends. He frowns slightly. <laughs> as, he says, says, my... as he walks to where the high druid is. Mm. The butterflies will fly in front of Aranas. Ah, the priestess will come along too. The butterflies will not reject her. <laughs> Tarantus is murdered brutally in his tent while we're gone. He does have a marble golem. Yeah. It does, but I'll you know. do something. Yeah. It'll, it'll marble golem changes size. Yeah. He's kind of surrounded by powerful druids. So. Marble uh, golem freedom. So, uh, show of hands, or perhaps vocalizing it, how many of you are interested in meeting the high druid? Yeah, I am. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yes. Why not? And Tempest there just sort of, like, just feels this is going to be an awkward situation. Guess it's the problem. The exact opposite of nature <laughs> right here. It's the first icon we're going to stand right in front of. Sheep. He's BRB'd, right? Now, uh, I suppose, I'll... how many of you want to do it this session? Well, you did say we were going to end the session early. 
Yes, uh, it, it, it has only it has only gone on for three hours and change. So yeah. uh, whether I, you would want to like have the suspense there for the entire time until next session or not, I would like to talk to her if nothing else, so that we can get back here, and I might be able to roll a six on my hydrate relationship <laughs> dice. You uh, will not be having oh, icon relationship oh, dice no, rolls won't. after this session, because mm. it would be impossible to use anything but druid dice, pretty mm. much. <laughs> Prince uh, of the Shadows, had to see something in a tree. <laughs> there's a guy here stealing someone's druid spells. <laughs> well, um, you guys? Um, I'm fine either way, really. I yeah. I can do it now. Or I like wait. suspense. It would like be the suspense. suspense of... admit, admittedly, for once, I kind of like the idea of a cliffhanger. It would <laughs> also. I would also say, due to the amount of hospital trips I've been making. Uh, the suspense would carry over not for one week, but for two. Oh my! Yay! That means I get to play for the full session in a fortnight. Mm-hmm. I, 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 would, I would note that as well. Like, as, 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 as I warned about, uh, we would not have had a session today if I had not already had this material prepared. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I imagine perhaps that we'd need to repair some material as well. Like, like I, I had like, I, I already had like the high druid, like, mind like discuss. There's no like need for preparing that. I know who she is and what she might say to you. It's just a matter of whether or not you want the cliffhanger there of waiting so long before you speak to her or not. Welcome back, I'd sheep. Honestly, I'd honestly be okay with waiting. Uh, Except also for the fact that I might think about what I'm gonna say. Uh. Which I didn't expect it to be so easy to get. Admittedly, I was also not expecting a meeting of an icon. Nope. Well, I, none of you. I'm fuck, okay with the cliffhanger. None of you knew also that Aranos was related to the current High Druid. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Some of you might have known out of character, but out nope. of character I knew, but in character I had no clue. Yes, but uh, as worn about and welcome back, sheep. Uh, as I noted, the only reason why I was able to hold a session this week was because I had the material prepared for last week, and we ended up missing it due to nature. Haha, ha. funny how nature gets involved. And so if we ended up holding a session due to the number of hospital trips I've been making and staying there, we wouldn't have a session for two weeks until uh, the 8th of March, I believe it would be. And so that's why I asked Blake, like, we have plenty of time, and I could certainly conduct a meeting with the High Druid. I know who she is and what she would say. I had that prepared. But uh, it'd be a matter of whether or not you want the opportunity to mentally, like, steal yourselves from meeting an icon. It's up to you. I think that this would be actually a pretty good spot I'd for I prefer to steal myself. Honestly. Because okay. <laughs> I... Like, this whole thing with Alo is wicked cool, but I don't know <laughs> what to do about it. <laughs> wicked it's, cool. It's like... The reason for Grasp and Sword is like, it seems like a temptation sort of thing. Raising the elves back into prominence with the aid of druids as well i mean and then yes, offering the, as a long-term goal to kill yeah. the green permanently the dragon empire is falling there could be a new world order and wham, it could wham, wham, involve wham. different powers yes. Yes. Why the world have to go that way? Mm, but you know let's and hear what to say it's not just bullshitting you oh that's the that's the problem isn't it it's <laughs> yep. a problem of trust if i knew he couldn't lie but then again it seemed genuine and nobody wants to die to deadly liches Sure, but maybe it's just a good liar, or it has I, something else in mind. But the thing is, the material cord is too powerful for you to just fuck with it. Like without, you would be incredibly stupid to. So first, wake them up and then piss them off. From the conceited opinion of an elf, right? <laughs> yeah, obviously. I mean, it's not like fighting the Lich King by himself is is. I mean, that's pretty tough to begin with. Yeah, maybe he uh, marries your mother and then kills her. Good luck with that. I, I don't know how powerful he is. Don't know how powerful that she is. Icon. <laughs> exactly. She's, she's, she's another icon, icon too. <laughs> is, I mean, I mean, the, uh, Halo a lot would of the be an icon, queens. right? Halo wouldn't right now. Well, maybe. Sort of. So, yeah. Get the position. Yeah. Yeah. As, as Priestess mm -hmm. Olia had noted, and I'll reveal that out of character knowledge whenever she spoke about Aylor the Draker Drew when you brought her back. Uh, that is the one druid she knows of that would be just as powerful, perhaps if not more so than the High Druid, and the yeah. only one whom the High Druid fears. Uh -huh. Aelor. We're going to speak to the High Druid, and she's going to be like, we you need to kill Aelor, and be like, my god, auntie, wait, you know, this is just... Yeah. 
Are you are you joining us for the fight? I uh, I imagine that uh, that that my mother, my character's mother, would maybe be a little bit condescending towards the high druid if uh, I were to to get her out of a out of a pinch. Uh, she would certainly enjoy that quite a bit. Mm. Just for the able to say yes, yes, sister, I was chosen to be the queen, not you. So, you know, maybe this is the reason. Who's to say? But uh, one thing is for sure, someone rolled four icon hits on their dice before this session. And mm -hmm. that person's one unique thing was put into focus. Certainly. I have noticed that the NPCs become more and more aggressive with addressing me as, as prince and, and breaking up things. Uh, but but I suppose now there's nothing to, to put any fingers between. Uh, yes. There is. So we, we, we have dwarven nobility, human nobility, and apparently elven nobility. Royalty, please. <laughs> Royalty, yes, of course. And then there's Tempest and Aurelia. As yeah. you say, my prince. Mm -hmm. Tempest is just a box. He's an <laughs> undying box. Who knows? Maybe he's like box royalty, but we don't. Cog nobility. Tem yes. Tem Tempest, pr prince of the, of the gift. He's the most noble of machines. Yes, uh, it this... turns out he's the most prince of the clockwork clan. <laughs> For uh, this uh, session, I had hoped to keep uh, the role play and uh, character focus in mind, uh, like we did with last time, because I feel as if that still mattered to us before we transition to staring at the tactical map. Although I did make it like viewable again, at least this session. <laughs> took a look at it. There was nothing really that could compare to going and doing this. Hmm. It's almost like at 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 champion tier, we needed people to be amazing. Like to do amazing things. Now at this point, we have them, but we're the center stage again in this way. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, the, the only time I actually changed map to one of those two maps was actually to go to the World Maps calendar because I just wanted to check what date we're on. Yes, uh, you should still be. I didn't uh, move the calendar date at all for the travel time, but you'd be at the end of readying, which is the uh, first month of spring in the 16 month calendar. Who'd know that Ajax could be so reasonable, guys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You wrote him. I did. That's true. That, that's, that's something that I... That... Words. That's something I've been thinking about, like, half this session. It's... it's The fountain apparently was a an agent of the Lich King in some way or another, or something. Who knows? Mm -hmm. As uh, you would have been conveyed to you, uh, that was an integral like element of the architecture that keeps the ley lines in check in Horizon. There's like people don't just get through Horizon's wards itself to commune through things. Yeah, but but it was representing the Lich King in like an abstract sense. I don't think it was directly him being like no, sup. No. No. But, uh, but it was probably like, yeah, basically like an aspect in a way. A, a, a lingering remains, I imagine, that's within the city. And I, I don't think it's just a lingering remains, but also a connection to him, like in some form or another. Because how else would it have been able to offer us information? Unless it's like a separate, a separate horizon Lich King image. I, I don't know. <laughs> but considering... Assuming that it is really representing the Lich King, that means that the Lich King wanted, really wants the intellect devourer dead. Well, it it accepted the power from the ritual, and it probably didn't pay up. It means that we have had a deal with the Lich King, or uh, well, there That's was true. that whole there was that whole you gain power, but it gained Lich King gained something. It probably didn't pay up whatever it is that it needed to give. But but also. That's my guess, at least. It didn't have its paladin light to give. It didn't have, you know... It, it just makes me think that killing the Great Silver Worm wasn't the Lich King's plan. Mm, maybe not. Which means that... that may, I'm probably being way too far-fetched here. Uh, just, just ignore me. Just, yeah. No, it could very well be that, that Aelor actually doesn't want to work with the that he has his own plans. If you're as powerful as an icon, you probably don't really want to follow anyone, do you? Like he could, he could, whoop, he could probably beat up the high druid and take over and but, but be that's... like an icon and a king, basically. 
does he want to follow or live in the shadow of any dragons? I don't think so. But Do they that, accept his insubordination? I don't think so either. Well, then it doesn't really make sense that he helped kill the Great Silver because that is pretty much a favor for the Blue. Is it, though? I mean, she would want that, I would assume. Right, well, well, think about the position she is in now compared to before. I mean, now she is not She's constrained at war with by the entire empire, right? Well, that doesn't really mean much at the moment for her, I think. Depends. Maybe she didn't want it to happen right now, but maybe she, she's not entirely You know, there, there's, there's Probably no... didn't want to stop it. There were, like, big red dragons there as well. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, I will say, from, like, the least NPC perspective, as Olia noted, the contract was as such that she doesn't think the blue could have directly had, yeah, like, she input could yeah. and violate this. She couldn't have, but she would have wanted to had she been able to. I assume. Maybe... Oh, she couldn't have wanted to, as it turns out. She, she couldn't have wanted to, but she, but she would have. She would have she, if she could have. But she uh, couldn't, so she didn't. It's like one yeah, of those fucking, like, 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 it's sort of... <laughs> well, but she couldn't, really... so someone else had to. Right, I mean, that's what you might say, but she literally would have been unable to express her opinion on the matter other than, don't release me from this contract, it's the best thing ever, compulsion. Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust this guy, but I think we can trust him as far as that he doesn't want to, like, die to the Lich King. And sure, but... He, like, uh, ruled in an undead empire. That was a motivating force behind and so many he, icons joining together before the first yeah, age. Yeah, like, to some degree, guys, that is what Aaron has would agree to. That is probably the, the number one concern here is that there is another age, right? Because yeah. when the Wizard King ruled, there weren't really ages. They were just like the unending tyranny. And uh, now it'll be unending tyranny where everyone's dead. So that is not, not but, awesome. But yeah, if I just, we. I if, there has to be a better option. If we oh, don't you know. quite know which side the, the blue might be on, May, maybe she doesn't really like the Lich King either. We don't really know which side the red is on, apart from having seen some red dragons, which may or may not mean something. We definitely know that the black is on the on the side of the listing, though, right? The red is definitely not on Jasmine's side. No, we know that much. Permanently killing the green is not something you get friends with the three doing. I have I have its tooth as a sword, and they hate it because it's pretty indignifying, really, to some degree, humiliating but, for the. But just because too. he's promising, that doesn't mean that he will deliver. No, of course not. But he didn't seem to be lying. I didn't well, detect maybe lies. he's a good liar. Right. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe everything, right? Yeah, yeah. But I just don't trust him at all. No. I, he I just assumed has a bad he was lying to me. for being a douchebag who just summons oh. and gives the blue sorcerer's power, right? But, but, but yeah. that is one thing. And, uh, you know, not, not wanting the world to die is a different thing. And I think. Like, if the worst comes to the worst and we can't stop it, then that's what we're here to do. We're not here to fight. This is a druidic matter. If we take this in our hands, to some degree, like, that is exactly what we should not do. Let's say this a lore attack attacks the high druid. What do we do then? Well, we well, can't we interfere. Do, we wrestle him. Like, we can't? Th there would literally be two pros like potential icons fighting each other. The power level, okay, we might not be that far off, but if we interfere in in the official challenge, assuming that's what it is, then we just also like a everything. thousand druids. Mm. Yeah, like, an official what the hell? Like this is really not anything, something. But... Yeah, he wouldn't kill in an unofficial challenge. What would be point of that if he thinks he can win the official one? Eh, I don't know. Out of yeah. desperation, somehow we're gonna I, talk I don't know to gonna the, to the high druid, and we're gonna see what she has to say, and I'm gonna yep. see what I can get out. In of such a such a place, it's a very it's a it's a unique chance, and uh, well, basically, Arnas just wants to keep every every everything open here. And seeing the two, seeing the druids split into two distinct factions, that sort of, if they were to break from one another, that would be the ultimate end to the druidic power, and that would just cause chaos. 
As I mean, I mean, factioning is fine as long as as long as they can work together as a unit. I mean, that's what our group is, right? We have different different opinions and different skills, but we work together as a coherent unit. And we're stronger for yeah. it. I mean, them splitting into two factions is, is better than them attacking the Dragon Empire, but yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you know, I can uh, I can show you the token to show you that uh, she does in fact exist and she's a real person. I even have the last name on my token for all this time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did not notice that. No. I imagine not, because it's not something I would have known without talking to Grimeth either. Yeah, no. Like, what is the High Druid's last name? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, How many characters have encountered that? Uh, typically those uh, you know who are so distant from the icons typically like even like the emperor who has a name <laughs> like you know he has like a history and like a noble lineage the emperor He's a dude yep. yeah like Perdnax? we know the name Perdnax. is this his first or last name it is the name yeah like, he, is he <laughs> mr Perdnax or is he Perdnax something else i know blue bane is what we call him but uh -huh. that is his epithet yeah that but, but that at, this point, just at this point, his name is effectively Pertinax, if yeah. it's not the Archmage. Yeah, if yeah. if it's another Pertinax, you'd be like, Pertinax, but not that one. As it turns out, you guys have never heard of another Pertinax, so it's never been a problem. A lot of kids named it's, that. Uh, it's, it's, my... it's his celebrity name. That'd be crazy to grow up in Horizon. You just walk, and suddenly you're just like mm. in a completely different place, never getting yeah. home. There is also an, uh, I can, there's also a token for something that Shape saw. But uh, but none of you others could see. So what? Yeah. Was it was it the black? <laughs> Sitting here. Damn! I'm you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know? I uh, wanted to provide a unique experience for effectively like a teleportation ritual that had to be done, and uh, there were some fives and some other effects that I thought needed to bleed over as well. Oh, fives. Yes. Isn't that right, Dark? Fives. That's a yes, fives. <laughs> Sounds so happy. <laughs> That's all I can say. Fives. Mm. All the fives. Uh, well, yeah. you know, I knew they'd come to bite me eventually. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you mean good news? I don't know. Another crown. I am, I, yeah, I am. I, I am. I am completely static about having the crown. That was. Like I, I was like I, I totally resigned. Like okay, I'm not getting it. Do you, do you want to keep it a secret or tell us what it is? It's a very fancy looking crown. <laughs> right, sure. Yeah. Uh, and, it, it, uh, oh, oh god, the it's quirks. A bit flashy. You, uh, oh you, god, the quirks. You, you even is it an artifact or... quirk that's worse than an epic tier. I imagine so. Uh, you know, I can mechanically inform you. It's triple quirks. Mm -hmm. Oh my. I mean. At this point, if I if I went to like to the green quirk, I'd be, I mean, <laughs> you know, it, <laughs> yes. like it doesn't matter what other quirks I have at that point. Yes. I mean, they I would be showing up too, but yes, the uh, the quirk that you have from the tooth would uh, it'd be like that scroll the dark gods thing that you guys had well, before. Well, that's that <laughs> done. Mm, yeah. That's sweet. So yes, uh, and yes, the artifacts quirks are more powerful than even an epic tier magic item, and it has it three of them. Yeah, I'm, that's why I'm trying to keep them in mind as I'm interacting with everyone, because if they're kind of important, you know, I cannot just resist you know, them. You know, maybe that axe that Thomas had could have grown to be something like that, sheep. I, uh, I only have I only have <laughs> two magic items in my slots. Uh, an adventure tier and an epic tier. Well, I technically have four, I think, but now I count as six because the crown takes up three slots. Yeah, I, I only have two. Well, there, there were options where you guys could have pursued to get other magic items, yeah. like, you know, the Fountain Voice wanted to give you guys magic <laughs> shit, and you yeah. would have gotten more magic shit from Vohiro. Exactly. And instead we're here, and it's goddamn dark dark tree infested. <laughs> <laughs> it brings unity to the druids. It is a holy quest, really. Garak's like, uh, the fuck? I mean, I had to, like, teleport and had to go through that shit. I might have to teleport again to get back to my sister. Yeah. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I don't want to die again. <laughs> this is uh, this is just like when uh, 
Well, this time in this world is just like when the dwarves attacked and tried to eradicate the elves. Exactly the same, huh? Not exactly, but close to. I mean, they were kind of more cruel yes. than these yes. guys. Uh, hopefully you folks are alright with uh, the second consecutive session without combat. I know that combat has uh, been at many times a feature of this campaign. I mean, I was kind of being specially handled in this session, so I enjoyed it yeah. thoroughly. Uh, you will also, since we're not going to do uh, icon relationship dice, uh, Manikai, you can go ahead and keep your uh, command points that you got for uh, rolling for Destiny to lead. Yes. Um, Actually, that should be more than I have on my token you here. You should have eight, I do believe. Yeah. I will just... Do uh, you get an incremental advance? You most assuredly do get an incremental advance. Right. Okay. See, we are level... Yep, uh, the the question is... Level eight. The question is, do I break my rule of always taking hit points first to get ninth level spells? That's true. Or, or should you get the plus one to the one skill enemy. checks because we haven't even had a combat for the past two sessions. <laughs> the, the only damage that was done was whenever uh, Tempest Malator provoked the Fountain of the Lich King. Of which, that was great, by the way. Absolutely uh. great. <laughs> I'm like, plus one is not going to save me when Aurelia uh, starts doing diplomacy. Yeah, I, I, I know, I was, like, I was like, well, give them both the chance to move away. And Tempest starts smart like, <laughs> you motherfucker, I don't fucking, fucking, how dare you, I politely uh, refuse and you sass mouth me? What kind of bullshit is this? I didn't even have to talk to you, I could have just like left you. All entirely reasonable by Tempest, by the way, completely reasonable. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I think it's just a Tempest, it's just yeah. like, the fuck? Yeah, no, like, I, I thought it was entirely what? reasonable, what? and the fountain just said, fuck it. <laughs> I already know what I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the implacable epic feat. Ah, uh, yes, for the plus one to physical and mental defense, is that right? Yep. Mm. Um, okay. see. That ninth level spell wouldn't be bad, just because they're they're badass. Yes, as it turns out, they are ninth. Teleport's a ninth level spell, which is yeah, what got you guys Overworld world travel, I mean. <laughs> you know, how often have we not wanted to go to the overworld? <laughs> We could summon a flying island. We could go into the clouds. That's I, mean, I, I don't think I can really use any of the non-damaging like spells at all. <laughs> like pick a damaging one then. Yeah. You like for your finisher? I snuggle someone. <laughs> Whatever. The prayer for readiness. I can utter a powerful prayer to my comrades, giving each of you a unique blessing. At any point in this battle, each blessed ally can acknowledge the blessing by saying thank you to your god, <laughs> gods, or pantheon, and then re-roll a d20 roll. That, that's a way to convert people. <laughs> that, uh... <laughs> Just say thank you and you can live. I won't. Pra praise my god is you can live no that's like some forcible <laughs> conversion shit but it's like it's like just like it's like temptation it's dead right it's we, so sweet. temptation has been covered so much in this session yeah isn't that right sheep yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah i might get uh, the heal spell uh epic feet just because i wanted it at some okay. point see i want uh but part of me says go, you know, go, go for the, um, go for the feet. You always go for the feet first. And it's like I can't actually find a feet I want right now. I actually kind of need to level up before I can use it properly. And then my heal would give you a recovery plus uh, fifty-four. Oh god! <laughs> Rem I remind you, I, really, I remind you, that's almost half my health. If I'm next to you, though, I have to be next to you. Oh no! Uh, Still pretty uh, damn good. Mm -hmm. You know, I might just pick health. But uh, yeah, what's the uh, in incremental advance for you folks, and no icon relationship dice due to the position which we've ended the session, uh, and the fact that Aranasa's one unique thing is still in full swing. I don't think anyone else's is going to come to light right now. I'm special. Unless we get visions. You, you all are special, uh, and I think you all have had enough messages from me for, <laughs> for a time. Isn't that right, Griff? I like your messages. <laughs> I love well, how I love how Griff replies. I've had too many. Griff is just like no. sends me like ellipses in reply. Like the fuck, <laughs> it's so fucking long. Oh, that's my incredible advance. I have health now. Put me at one hundred and seventy. Printed it all and saved it all. 
A long yes. message, right. words, a long response. Uh, I will say one thing. Uh, yeah, I, I actually did a similar thing with the huge wall of text I got originally. Yeah, that entire thing's now on my character sheet. That entire thing. Yep, there's that whole, like, next to powers and spells. That's just the other line. That's just all that thing. now. I For will now. say that there is uh, two unresolved icon relationship dice. Uh, but I would, and I would definitely be interested in hearing how either of them would work out. First off, Griff, uh, at the end of last session, I did roll for you after you went to bed, and you had a mm -hmm. six with the Prince of Shadows. So if for whatever reason over the next two weeks or during next session you can think of a way to somehow get like a snow globe or whatever, then by all means. <laughs> snow globe! I know. And uh, then the other one... Uh, and perhaps, by the way, that also explains how Gogo was like, maybe he can use a six to, like, extend, like, the contract time with, like, this fountain thing. And I was like, it doesn't have to be from the Prince of Shadows. Nope. <laughs> uh, Just a suggestion, but no. And then there is a Dwarf King Conflicted Five through <laughs> Gogo. Okay, that one's difficult. Maybe they're yeah. Dwarven Druids, you know? <laughs> that's the thing. Like, that, yeah, that certainly is. We will regrow the metals of the earth and re-fertilize the underdark. There's uh, there's druids of all flavors. I mean, nature is what helped regrow all of the ore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's this mithril druid who's just like regrowing mithril in his spare time. That's what he does. God, I want to, I want to befriend that guy. Yeah, that <laughs> guy is yeah. like, he's probably popular with the dwarf king. <laughs> 